Hey everyone, welcome back to part 3 of this video. Today I'm going to be finishing up this entire model with all his details. I'll be doing his red cloth, his black straps and his weapons. So let's get straight into it. For all the red cloth areas, I'm going to be painting it with Contrast Blood Angels Red. Make sure when painting this color when, to be careful when you get close to areas that have already been painted. Mostly this took one coat, but in certain areas I did a second coat, after it was dried. Once the Blood Angels Red has dried, I'm going to come in with Pure Red from Army Painter, mix it 50-50 with Joe Sanja's Magic Mix and glaze on all the red highlights on the upper surfaces of the cloth. The fold details on the cloth area and the pants are a bit subtle so it takes a little bit of time to see where they are, so just be careful, take your time. But if you do get the red glaze in areas you don't want, just let it dry and come back in with Blood Angels Red again. The pure red glaze took about 6 coats to get to the color I was happy with. Now I'm going to start highlighting the red areas. I'm going to come in with a 50-50 mix of pure red and inferno orange from P3 and start layering this color on the highest peaks of the cloth and pants and also start edge highlighting certain areas. While the red was drying, I went and painted in all the black areas such as the weapons and the saddle and belts and straps. And then now I'm going to highlight all the belt straps and the saddle with coal black from P3. I will be layering this on and I'm mixing it 50-50 with water.
To start highlighting the black, I'm going to mix 50-50 coal black and grave digger down, mixed with water. This is for the areas that are hit by the most amount of light. I'll also be edge highlighting certain areas of the belts and straps. Also he has lots of rope decorations on him. I'll be highlighting those as much as I can. I'll be using a bit of an overbrush technique to get those rope details. Just use a gentle hand and just drag it across the details. I decided midway that I wanted all the bandages that are littered across the miniature to be painted in a beige color. So I'm using Joe Sanja's Provincial Beige. And I will base coat this in 50-50 mix of water. The handle of the axe is going to be painted with Joe Sanger's Burnt Sienna. The handle of the axe and all the straps are going to be washed using Agrax Earthshade. While the Agrax shade is drying, I'm going to continue by painting all the metallic areas. The ha weapons are going to be painted using gunmetal grey from Metal Color. And the gold areas are going to be painted with molten bronze from P3. And to shade the metallic areas, including the gold, I'm going to be using Null Oil Shade. To highlight the straps, I'm going to just come back in with its original color, Provincial Beige, and just layer on top of each of the straps. I'm going to do my best to make sure I don't get it into the recesses. But again, if I do, I'll just come back in with Agrax Earthshade and pin wash it.
To finish off the blades of the weapon, I'm going to do a striation pattern on the sharp edge of the blades. This will just require me to thin down Rune Fang Steel from Citadel and just flick it across the bladed area. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos. I'll leave links to Behold the Miniatures, Tribes and Patreon in the description below. Please like and subscribe and if there's anything you would like me to cover please leave it in the comments below. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you.